What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Denise Salcedo here for Instinct Culture and today I am at TCL Chinese Theaters for the premiere of Joseph Kahn's Bodied. Well, congratulations on being on this film, Bodied. Tell me a little bit about how you landed your role as Divine. Okay, um, so I lied. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, in as an actor, they tell you when they ask you, can you do something, you say, yes, you can. And um, my agent asked me, can you rap? And I'm like, yeah, I can. I, I listen to Nicki Minaj verses, but I can rarely like get through it without stumbling. But um, I got the sides and crammed with my my acting brother. His name is Daryl Wesley, and he is obsessed with battle rap. And he, I, he was like my battle rap coach for like a week. Just went over it, went over it, went over it, went over it, and studied all these incredible people. Um, Daylight, Official, and Loaded Lux, and then just went in there, and God made a miracle happen. Oh my God, were you afraid that you weren't going to be able to nail it and get the part down exactly how you wanted it? Um, absolutely, absolutely, because they made it. They were very clear that the rapping was more important than the acting at that point. I guess they had had some actors who couldn't rap, but she was. It was like three pages of rap. And they're like, you have to be able to rap. You have to be able to rap. So I didn't, I rarely looked at the acting. All I did was focus on the rap. And I was terrified that I was going to stumble and forget. And But it literally worked out for me. I don't, God opened heaven. It was meant to be. It so now, be. so now I want to know, do you think that you would lie again in an audition to land that role? Um, it worked before, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you, you lie until you got to prove it. Exactly. Right? It's not good. It's a terrible motto. I mean, okay, in this sense, it's perfectly fine, it all right? We're out. just with it. All right, so now I want to know, Body is a very, you know, it's a very intricate script in terms of the topics and things that it discusses. What were your initial thoughts when you first read the script? Um, I thought it was extremely powerful. Um, of course, being a black woman, I was worried about what it would look like with cultural appropriation until I realized it was completely making fun of it in such a powerful way. And I think it's really cool to take, make fun of such a, like, Hollywood cut out cookie cutter kind of way of filming things to tell these culture pieces through the eyes of a person who's not involved in the culture at all and completely flip it over on the side of his head and make fun of it. I thought it was incredible. I think sometimes you just need to, you need to leave, you need, you need to let the hard stuff breathe. Absolutely. Absolutely. And what it does is it creates conversation. There's so many um, thought -provo provoking dialogue. That's what I'm going to call it. Thought provoking dialogue. We're not going to say just completely just <laughs> like yeah. offensive, right. but thought provoking dialogue that will start conversations and get people to really examine why they laughed and what made them cringe and start a conversation with each other that hopefully brings the change that we all need. Incredible. Well, congratulations. And again, congratulations on this film. It was nice talking to you. Take care. All right, everyone. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed each and every single interview. As always, make sure to give the video a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.